my name is Heather, and I'm with the robotics team named Fulmerata. Today I'm going to tell you about some problems I ran into while installing our odometry wheels and how I solved them. So the first problem that we ran into is that our hub and our shaft, they don't fit. So we decided to 3D print our own. So this is our 3D printed hub. Now as you can see, this fits. But we lost our shoulders on our hub. Then we also decided to 3D print some spacers. So this is our spacer that we decided to 3D print. Now as you can see, it does not fit inside of here, which is not good. And it's too wide, which can make it extremely difficult to fit in here and stay in place. So now, as you can see, we have the wheel with the proper size hub and the proper sized shaft. So now, as you can see, now they both fit. And then we also decided to machine some of our own spacers instead of using the 3D printed ones. Because the 3D printed ones, they were too wide and they were not tall enough. So now, these fit properly on both sides, which then will help center out the wheel in its holder. Okay, so as you can see, this is our wheel assembly. But as you can see, whenever we move it back and forth, it will not move correctly all the way around. And that is because our nut is hitting our wheel. So then we decided to change around our nut and our bolt. So this is the one with our nut and our bolt changed all the way around. As you can see, now it moves smoothly. But then our nut got in the way because it was just too long for our encoder board. So this is the nut before we did anything to it. And this is the one that we decided to grind down. So now that we grind down our nuts, now our encoder board will fit correctly on top.